Now listening to the In My Opinion podcast, the home of edutainment, brought to you by Sakali, DTM, and Uzuma. So get your drinks, snacks, relax, and enjoy. Anyway, guys, it's Ramadan. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ramadan. Ramadan. Are, you taking, are you partaking? And you didn't bring no dates. I didn't bring no dates. Oh, no, I'm not partaking. You're I'm not, not partaking. partaking. Um, I might f- do a I quarter fast here and there. Yeah, it's but just you've the been doing a quarter fast all year, man. It's the waking up that's difficult for me. Yeah, to um, I, if they did, if they removed that one, I could partake. Mm. You know I, I did it last year. But shout out all our Muslim brothers and sisters. Um, yeah. I brought it up just to talk about the fact that obviously there's this topic going around. There's a lot of toxicity in society at the moment. A lot. Mm-hmm. You know, many. A lot of, you? The politics is becoming very decisive. I'm divisive, very sorry. Divisive. It's like if you support conservatives now, someone might consider that you are racist. Especially because it's like around the time we're talking about election, elections yeah. in the air. You know what I mean? If you talk about conservatives, someone might say, oh, you're racist if you support them. If you talk about that you're from Labour, they'll say you're woke. Yeah. You're woke. You're lefty. The le- mm. You're snowflake. The snowflake. Mm. You're soft. This is what they're trying to say. So I want to understand, yeah. Do you feel like integration into British society has failed for us that are not native to this island of the United Kingdom? The United Kingdom. Hmm. Because it's Ramadan. <coughs> We've just seen Sadiq Khan has switched on the Ramadan lights. Yep. You know how we normally have Christmas lights? Mm-hmm. They do we it for have, Ramadan. We yeah. now have it for Ramadan, right? And the right wing people right are now. going mad. They're like, "This is Br- this is Britain. Why are we doing Ramadan lights?" Da 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 da. da. Mm. So, do you feel like them man? Rah, not them man. Cut that. Sorry. Um, our Muslim brothers and sisters, right, should have just come here, integrated, and left it as this is a Christian country. We're going to do Christmas lights, Christmas celebrations, rather than petition to get Muslim holidays recognized and stuff like that. Like what does integration look like? But, I think, in that? but that's something. But I think that's a, that's a whole point of, um, because remember, yeah, Britain will tell you they are inclusive. Mm-hmm. This is what they market to the world. By the way, we're inclusive. We're multicultural. We're all of this, all of that. We're diverse. So we're the most diverse. And you, you know, they they, they mm-hmm. throw all these marketing slogans out there. So my main thing is when you've marketed this to the rest of the world, and people are looking at their own situations in whatever country they're, they're, you know, they're, they're from and thinking, oh, you know what? Maybe right. it's safe to go over mm, there. Mm. They, they'll welcome us. You know, they, they, they would open their arms. You know, we can, we can, our culture. I think, so when you talk about like, um, uh, what's the word again? In, in, what is it? What? What's the word? The, the inclusive. The inclusive. When you talk about inclusivity, right, we're, we're, we're looking at, I think it's supposed to be both ways, if mm. you ask me. You come in here, maybe you could have your own, like, you know, with your own different culture, could mm. be coming from Africa or coming from Asia, anywhere else you're coming from, right? Obviously, I think it's important, bring your culture, but at the same time, also be open to be part of the culture of where you're going to. Mm-hmm. But I think they also need to be open to receive your culture as well. And I think that's, the, that's how, it, you know, that, that, and then I don't think that in itself, even though they will swear that they, 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 they are the most, but I don't think it's done enough uh, from my personal experience i don't feel like you know the traditional english people mm. they're not very hospitable oh okay that's from my experience personally okay, mm-hmm. Talk on not that. very uh, hospitable it's always um i just feel like every i've moved to i've lived in different areas in in, in london and i just feel like even in i've lived in kent and i feel like every the first thing you get is almost like they feel threatened mm. every time. It's almost like, oh, they're very reserved. What's this person about? Or they might not even engage, or in most cases, they don't even engage with you at all. Mm. And even, they, even, if they, even if you do get engagement, it's always condescending or some sort of, um, what's the word you look for? The um, Is it overt racism? Or what's, what do you call it? When yeah, you covert. About, covert racism, when it's almost like, they try to make jokes to try to make it seem like, oh, hey, it's but then it underneath. comes across, yeah, but it comes across very like, mm, uh, what's you know, what's that about? I know you're not like that on a normal day, mm. and so I don't know. So I just feel like part of like, you know, when you talk about when you talk about integrating and doing all of that stuff, it's just be yourself. Don't pretend to be what you're not, and just be welcoming. Mm. And just I don't know, I don't know, but for me, I lived in um. Moved there, we, so actually we moved to my family. We moved to Welling in 2005, thereabout, 
and Welling is in Kent, right? And this was before it was even what it is now. Mm. Bro, at the time, I know Welling was mad. I could only count maybe on my road, I think there was only two black people mm. that I remember. And even on the high street at the time, there was one computer shop, and I think it's still there till today, that was owned by a black, a black Nigerian man. And everywhere else, bro, was just Caucasian or Yibo people, mm. right? And bro, I remember, because when we moved there, I still always used to go down to Northwest London, innit? Because that's where I kind of like went school, West, Northwest mm -hmm. London. So I still knew everyone from there. So I'm always going in and out, in and out well, and I'll come back home very late at night. And I remember, bro, every Fridays, I used to hate coming back late on Fridays. Because when I come back on Friday, you know, like when you live in them outskirts, wherever it is, yeah, the station is far. Everything is far. I have to mm. do like a 20 minutes walk home. And usually what happens, you get this group of white boys. Every night on Fridays and Saturdays, they just go around the whole area, shopping center, McDonald's everywhere. They just wreck everything. <laughs> okay. And I remember seeing walking, I was walking on the high street going home and I seen this group, there's about, there's about like 10, 15 of these, man. And I was thinking, damn, there's about to be some. Let me tell you something about, about my experience anyways. Let me say my experience from white boys. When there's one or two, you're usually calm. Mm. But anytime when you see a group of five or more mm -hmm. and they're a bit, they look a bit intoxicated, mm. it's not going to be good. But I don't think that's been my experience. I anyway. feel like that's only when you meet them in those kind of areas. If I was in Central, yeah, I think you were in I Central, of course, you'd be calm. I'd be it? calm. But if yeah. I was in Welling, yeah. Do you or if I was like, um, oh, what is that place? Oh, what's that for? Millwall? Millwall? Like, uh, Will Millwall are playing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely. You not. know you're, you're not. Gonna I'm crossing the road. Do you know what I mean? I'm. And I, this is coming from a guy that's very prideful. But I did not cross the road. Oh. But in my mind, I was looking at there was bare of them, and I seen them knocking shit over, <laughs> walking towards, <laughs> just knocking things over. One of them was even in a trolley. The other one, you know, they do. They play all these games. They wanna pull him over, pushing mm -hmm. each other on the trolley. And I'm like thinking, damn. Am I gonna cross? I'm like, nah. It was so big because it was like I'm talking. It's like 15 man, one man walking, black boy, is, is, uh, where, where, they know I'm coming. Mm. If I cross, it'll be so bait that I'm crossing over because I'm them. shook, which will probably maybe make them, me maybe even want to come and try and mm. chuck it. So my main thing, let me just keep walking and hopefully I'll just walk through them. Oh. I'm walking, calm, got through the first, but you can tell the tension, I'm walking through. And as I got almost towards the end, one of them just decided to, because this time when I used to wear like the, I used to wear like a snap, mm. snap back. One of them just smacked her off my head, bro. bro. My snap, <laughs> my hat flew into the road. It good, it good. I turned in. around. I was like, what, what? All of them, like, hur, hur. they started making bear noise, monkey noise, all of that shit. Da, 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 da. I was like, swear down. I was like, you know what? I just took my hat. Put on my head. Oh man. And I just said, yo, let me, let me, let me, let me call this uh, let me just not say, let me not engage. Cause remember, yeah, this was around, you know, like we all grew up with the story of um Stephen Lawrence. Stephen Lawrence and the L um, all of that situations happened. So all of that's in the back of your mind, and you're thinking, is this how it happened? No, it's is this it what probably, it is? probably not similar. In my head, I'm thinking, like, let me, I'm like, let me just, Welling is not too far from Elton. Yeah. Well, yeah. Welling well, yeah. ran the corner. So I just thought, you know what? Let me just take my hat. At least all they did was knock over my hat and made some funny noises, but they ain't no trying to attack. They just kept, and then yeah, but so that, and that was just a fur, that was like one of many other situations. I've had egg thrown at me in that area. They'll be driving, they'll just throw it out, or they'll be driving, they'll just shout at nigger, or they'll just shout at madness. Yeah. Bro, that area, to what it is now, bro, like, so, so for me, I'm like, I, that's not an area, like if, if I had my means at the time, don't you think I wouldn't? I wouldn't stay there. I'd move out. So, and that's failed integration, right? Mm. Because when you think about it, I, I wasn't born in the UK. I obviously migrated over here. That one, the first area. Don't get me wrong. That would move, live yeah, in. Yeah, but bro, again, yeah, your neighbors part of the, it's part of the process. Do you understand what I'm saying I to you? Because I feel like I've been well in. Mm -hmm. Even when I came to those days when you were doing up that house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I remember when we were on the road. Was I with my kids or not? I might not have been. 
But I remember we were driving, and someone was just driving. And this the was not that long ago. This was not long ago. Like yeah. two, three years ago. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone driving. I'll never. It's a BMW 3 Series, but the old one. The old one. Like yeah. back in the days, you know mm-hmm. them ones that them man yeah. like to work on, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the guy just windows down nigga, and then monkey noises. Even see, look. And I'm yeah, just thinking. Yeah, yeah. I just laughed. Why that raw? It still it shocked you, innit? Because I think what? You know when you think a lot of things don't get to you. Yeah, yeah. I always feel like. If I was a football player and them man were doing those monkey charts, would I stop playing? Like, would it be would it would it be that deep to me? And I'd be like, mm. you know what? I'm getting paid hundred bags a week. I'll you keep don't on care, playing. Yeah. Mm. But when it happened to me, I was like, you feel a bit violated, more so because I can't even stop the car and ask them, mm. Sebo, why can't did you just that. say this thing? Just keep going. They've gone now. They're gone. And now they've messed up my day. <laughs> Cause I'm like, why do I have to the the nigga the N word I could get I could mm-hmm. take but it was a monkey sound. It's a monkey sound, bro. I like as far as I'm concerned, we're all from monkeys, not just mm. black people. We all came from them. So, bro, that really hurt me. So I can I can understand if you had to you live have, you in had that egg area. Thrown at you, bro. I was just there for a day. What, you man? had to. Our yard used to get egged, bro. That's regularly bad. in this in this a yard cultural. Bro, our yard used to get egged regularly, bruv. That's regularly, mad. fam. That is mad. Like, trust me, man. So. So again, so when you talk about integration, that's been my experience, if you if I'm being honest with you. So the only place I'd say more than anything, I've gotten a little bit of like joy would be London. <laughs> when I've kind of lived in the inner city. In the inner city. That's yeah. when you okay, like even where I grew up in, in Campbell, all right, like a lot of my neighbors were white, mm. white boys. We used to go dance and kickball together, all of that kind of stuff. So I never experienced that. Do you understand what I'm talking about? More and then, yeah, so it was more like, it was like a complete shock to me. So racism and all of that stuff, racism, all of that is something you've always heard about, but you just never feel like, oh, because you're living in a situation where it didn't exist. We all got along, so I'm like, I never knew what these are talking about. But to experience it that way, you're like, yeah, oh. Right. What about you, Izzy? What do you think about integration? Because you came from Nigeria when you were like... I don't know. You see what is here? Like, sometimes when I compare how I am to how you lot are, yeah. Maybe I'm just different. Mm. The things that you lot look into and think about, they don't cross my mind. Mm. I just carry on living. It is way it is, do you know what I mean? So I think for me, I've never felt that level of like acceptance mm. based on obviously circumstances and what I've been through in it, mm. you understand? So for me, like obviously we've all, you've come, you've moved to the country similar time to when I came or whatever, mm. but what makes you feel like, I don't know, for me, I think is the passport. Mm. <laughs> Do you understand? In the sense of, I've never felt that, oh, I'm I'm, I'm part of this anyways. Yeah. So that's, it's always more of, that's you lost problem. Mm. Like, I'm not bothered. I don't look into it. I just keep doing whatever I'm doing. Do you know what I'm saying? So maybe that's something for me that I need to maybe open my mind to but it's just not how I operate. Wait, so do you mean like if, have you ever had any racism when you came here, when you first moved here? Nah, not really. I would say, I don't know, probably like school, like people making mockery of your accent, mm. pronouncing that, but that's about that's it. About it. But, but if you like were in DT situation, would you still feel like, well, because I'm not British, I don't really care, that's a them, or would you feel a way, like, can you empathise with it? Or? I don't know, you see what it is, if I haven't been through something, I, I find it hard to relate to it. To okay. a certain extent, do you know what I mean? Because I haven't experienced that. I, I don't know. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? And also, like I'm saying to you, like, in terms of the way you lot speak about this situation, it sounds like it bothers, like, this ain't nice. That's how you feel about it, isn't Yeah, it? because you know it's different. It's but not for like me, it's stuff like, I'm seeing on TV, though. This is like actually like people physically doing something to you. Yeah, because for so example, I know, because it's more, you know what it, it is, because yeah, you've got to remember, I think, I know what you're saying here, but even if you go to places like Africa, these sort of things, yeah, obviously we're in the UK, so it's clear to see, in it, yeah? And I think maybe with that, it's clear to see because it's like, okay, maybe we can talk about, okay, cool, they're Caucasian people, we're Africans, whatever. There's a, you can see like we're different. But in Africa, these sort of things still happens. In what sense? In, in what example? sense? In the sense of like, like if tribalism. you go to like North Africa, North yeah. Nigeria, mm-hmm. where you got the Aousa okay. people, whatever, you're going to feel that if you're not from that part. So that's tribalism, basically. Yeah, but yeah. it's still kind of like semi. We yeah, we have the same complexion, but we're still going to. But we're still different. We're still going to discriminate. You understand? If you're from a different area. Exactly. You don't speak my language, so you know what? You're still going to feel that tension. You understand? Yeah. Even like when this whole like kidnapping thing was happening, setting things 
Like, I might have my dad on the phone because obviously he lives in Abuja. And that's like the northern mm. part of Africa, mm -hmm. yeah, of, of Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah. There's still that, oh, this, oh, that, 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 that. don't go there. Like, it's still happening everywhere. Do you know what I'm saying? So for me, it's like tribalism, all of them, like, it's like, it's just human, isn't it? It's just like, just be nice to people regardless of where you're from. You know what I mean? So for me, I just feel like it happens everywhere in the world. Like you can, someone from the north can go to the the eastern part of um, Nigeria and they might feel that. I don't know. That's not something that I would do, but it happens everywhere. Like, do you know I what think, I'm saying? Yeah, I so for me, like, I, I just think that don't matter. Do you know what? I can't, you go, I can't you go, vote you. You go where you're, you're wanted. So if it means like London is where I feel. Like I'm home. But I'm how about people that I'm can't always go? How about you think to people that can't always? Is is as easy as oh, you go where you're wanted. But there's people that Don't they ain't got choice. no option. They, they ain't got choice. the option. I'll they give an example. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, can I give an example? Me, how All right. My brain so works. when my mum died, so when I when my mum was alive, I was living in Woolwich, mm -hmm. as you mm. know, very cultural. Yeah, yeah. black people. Me and the Marlies, everything. Marlies, yeah. Mum dies, I have to go live in Surrey with my dad. Yeah, yeah, remember that. I go to Surrey and it's a completely different world. Bro, it was so different, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like, I can't even explain to you the culture shock. The mm. first day of school, I get there. It's just a sea of white kids. <laughs> I'm the only black kid. Mad. That first day of school, do you know what they say? Damn Day's S Club was big. You know S Club 7? Mm -hmm. I know, yeah. you know the album. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. I'm a big S Club 7 fan. I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> they said you're Bradley. I didn't audition. I didn't do nothing. They you just told you you're Bradley. Bradley's the only black guy in this club. That's mad. <laughs> yeah? That's my first day of school. Cool. But I mean... No, nah, no, nah, okay, we can leave that one. Yeah. We can leave that one. Yeah. But next day, you know me, I'm still a bit of a gallist. Even though I'm, I'm young, I think I was in like year four, year five. Don't tell me you were taking all the white girls. I said, okay, different batch to what I'm used to. <laughs> yeah. Less melanin, but we can move. Because <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I don't feel like I'd seen white people like that but like in Woolwich yeah I just remember seeing bare black Spring. people but this was the first time I was just surrounded bro and I'm trying to go touch a girl she's like uh that don't get your man. black on me you're lying I swear to you and I'm like huh holy bro I was crap. so baffled but in that mind you're so young you're thinking more like cartoony like yeah, oh yeah, what, yeah. what what does she mean by black da, da, da. then they start calling me chocolate digestive oh shit. bourbon yeah Jeez. all these names that they're calling me and I'm thinking like raw then I remember the teacher asked me, oh, because my dad that obviously assigned me into the school. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, does your mum still live with your dad? Oh, what the now, fuck? Now, at the time, you're yeah. a kid. You're you not thinking. You don't know thinking. what they're asking, isn't it? But now that I'm older and I'm my thinking about these things, bro, that question was very mad. Mad. Very mad. You know what I'm mad. saying? Mad. So look at that culture shock now, Uzi, yeah? As a kid, the question the teacher asked me, I didn't realize it had any racial undertones. But definitely the way the kids treated me, bro, the, f the boys, the only time I got respect is when I joined the football team. Imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll never forget it. I... Tried to sign up for the football team. They said their football team is full. Mm. I'll never forget this year. One day we were playing in the, on the school field, but it's funny enough, the, the team was called Halliford Colts. Mm -hmm. And the manager of Halliford Colts was a father of one of the pupils, mm -hmm. right? And he had just come just by chance. After school, you know, after school, you kick ball. Mm. I was playing. He saw me. He's like, nah. We need him. We need him. And the guy put me on the team. No tryout, no application. Well, all of a sudden, they're not full anymore. Uh-huh. When I joined that team, bro, my the, the way the kids looked at me changed. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm the goal scorer. I'm getting the school team goals. I'm playing mm. for the county and everything. And then it's like, I'm in there, but they're still making the racial joke the racial, yeah, yeah, in, yeah. The, in the changing room. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, how do you, you know, to your point of, oh, go where you're loved. I had no choice. You can't go. I had to go live with my dad. These men, every day there's a different racial joke that they're making. Do you know what I'm saying? Especially mm. in football changing rooms, bro. Mm. Like... I remember, because what, how old were we in year five, year six? Like 11, 12, maybe? Year five. Yeah, yeah you're probably around yeah, yeah, 10, yeah. isn't yeah, it? 10, 11. 10, Bro, yeah. I'm the first person to hit puberty. Mad. So you can imagine, we're showering. Them days, I'm thinking it's just normal. Mm. Yeah, you know how the football team, uh, the football, everyone starts making jokes. Ah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at his knob. You know all that That's stuff. Look crazy. at his knob. Da, da, da. Is he really that age? He's older than what he says he is. Da 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 da. da, da. Oh. Your calves, fam. <laughs> 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 is 
Do we get love about it now? Yeah. But at the time, bro, I felt very yeah, self-conscious, bro. Yeah, you know I'm saying. But bro, the, like, I don't. I'm just finding this conversation very difficult to navigate, in it because. For me, where are these? But where remember, are when you, when you moved to, I feel like when you came to the UK, yeah, you stayed in the same area pretty much, predominantly the whole of your like growing up and everything. You stayed in the same area, which was in London, which is very you, a very multicultural, diverse area. That's where you came into. So you clearly don't have the experience growing up in different. Remember, I moved to about three different places. Like, just, you know, from Campbell went to Charing, Charing to, to Welling. Then from there, I went to Dartford. Like, do you understand what I'm talking about? So, But it's the same, it's the same, like, okay, cool. Remember, to like, growing up also in different times. No, I know what you're saying here, yeah, but again, yeah. What you're finding thought, hard to navigate, yeah. No, I'm finding not hard to navigate, but obviously I, I'm hearing what you lot are saying, but in terms of you're saying, all right, cool, you have to go to school in Staines, yeah? Yeah. Right? And you're like getting involved with uh, all these people that you're, it's completely different environment. You're getting different treatment, yeah? Same thing I can say, like when I went to school, it wasn't cool to be African. I hear All it. the Caribbeans used to get onto us, all the light skinned people. But, but, but that you know also, what I'm that's part of it, but that's, that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. So it's. No, but, but then when we talk about integration, I think that's also part of it. So what's going that's on with experience. these people that are the same as us? That are still doing these things. They're where, they're where are we picking bad. up these things? They're just as bad. Just yeah. as bad. So, so, but I feel no, like. But that's what we're so why I is it different? No, the no, reason. Okay, should I tell though. you why it's a little? Do you get the point I'm making? Because I didn't really face that too tough. Oh, Africa I boy, I Africa I like. Nah, nah, I faced, the same don't thing. Get me wrong, we all got the African from the Jamaican. You didn't exactly. get it like that because you never had the accent, bro. It can't be as bad, bro. They associate it with the. I mean, it's not the struggle Olympics. You had it, I had it. The point I'm trying to make is, imagine now. So another thing in Staines, you just reminded me. They were big on sleepovers, yeah? Mm. Like, kids who always invite kids yep. to their sleepover birthday. I hope you didn't go to none of them, boy. Bob, did I ever get invited? I never okay. even got the choice. Mm -hmm. For a fact, my dad would not let me go. But even exactly. still, I was never invited, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Just because I'm black. Come on, bro. That To me, that's very mad for you to put that in a child. So these are kids now that have been indoctrinated from young Mm -hmm. Like, yo, you see them man there? We don't want them in our house. We don't mm, want, don't yeah. have them touching you. Whereas what you're talking about, like, in terms of, like, African versus Caribbean, at least you had other Africans. I'm pretty sure you weren't the only one. I was but, there. What do you mean? But imagine having no one. You're the only black kid in a whole school that's from year five to year six, and you're dealing with racial abuse. I don't know. So can I just say sorry, one point? You, Why is it that when we were younger as well, yeah, let's be real, there was this energy of like, yo, we need to go off end. Like, like even when man them wanted things, bro, it's like, yo, let's go off end. No, what, what, one second. <laughs> Am I capping? No, you're not. But, what, but you wait, said these wait, areas wait, are not safe, I don't but wanna, we wanted to go, oh, no, yeah, man's got half a share quickly. I don't want to, you know what it is? No, no, no. Do you know what? Is. I don't want to take the conversation. I'm, we're going to come back to that because that's a that's a that's a point. But I don't want us to go away from when we talk about like the integration. Um, integration yeah. Remember, Muggsy, Yeah. There's different. I feel like there's different aspect to it. Mm. Mm. So obviously, I think from what I can touch on was from the, the obviously one of the most standout experience I had. Didn't it mm. was the it was mainly racial. Mm. Yeah. That was mine. Yours was racial as mm. well. But even what we went through in school. We're dealing with, you know, the, the back and forth with the Caribbeans and stuff like that. Even though I never had that on a mad scale, like I didn't have that crazy like that. But even how going through that in school, that's also another part to, um, do you know what I mean? And it, it can be to your point. Like, do you think generally like UK is an easy country to just, you know, they're very welcoming and it's easy to integrate into yeah. the UK society. And that doesn't not. just mean white people. Yeah. That could so be it could be fellow, anyone. Fellow yeah. black people. Do you know what How I'm people I don't think so, man. Everyone's just, everyone's just for themselves. Because isn't I can you know tell you this, yeah. We Even still got this long standing war with like everyone against Nigerians. It's still mm. going on. It's never, I don't think it's ever going to stop. See, and it comes in heavy. Because in South Africa, I know it's Even down to even this. People in high places granting things the moment they see Nigerian. Ah. Yeah. Like, it's still going on, even. Uh, no, no, you, know no, you, you got a point, because I know in South Africa, and for my South Nigerian, African brothers yeah. and sisters, and I'm, dis I'm disappointed. You lot are very xenophobic down there when it comes to Nigerians and just anyone that's not South African, if you're black, they just admit, they just assume you're the one taking their jobs, you're taking their wealth. When these times, 
is the, 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 the other people, people that are there. Oh. They're the ones that are there, but you lot would rather... Do you, and you it's big, you know? recently with the, with, the, with the team? I don't know what, what one of the sports Yeah, the football team. team. The, the South African the, yeah, football team. Was it, I don't know if it was a football team, but it was a South African it was a, team. It was a sports and team they were all from South Africa, and it was all white. I think there was like maybe three yeah. mixed race. And yeah. there, were, there were no black people yeah, in that yeah, team. Yeah. yeah. But then it's like, it goes about, uh, how does this make sense? Mm. And, I and I think that's but what I'm saying. But then to that different... point, the French football team is pretty much African. African. Bro. And that's so what I thought to that. That's what I thought can't to really, that. Yeah. But remember, there's two different reasons here. I personally think. I feel like for the French football team, is more of a, we need to win by any means necessary. So we're going to put in the people that we know we're gonna, are going to get us the results. Yeah. Compared to, actually, no. The black people in South Africa don't have the privilege or the opportunity to even get into that team. Out. Just and like me in school. Do you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying to you now? So I think mm -hmm. maybe if we look back into like the reasoning, the underlying I reasoning for both, they're two different situations. Mm. But let me say, like with culture wars, it's difficult because you're always going to get people on the other side that are saying, ah, you men are too woke. You men are too... Just yeah. Too. But the fact is, bro, black people have been marginalised, bro. A lot. Do you know what I mean? Even before we get into the inner politics of, you know, black on black, let's just deal with the fact that you guys came and troubled us where we were. You shipped us over. We're now here. It is still a problem. Why mm. are we? Why are you not allowing us to integrate? I remember my auntie yeah, would make us watch EastEnders and Coronation Street every day, hmm. just so that just so you can if <laughs> in school it was brought up, we had something to, yeah, talk, something about to talk about with our uh, our Caucasian mm. brethren, mm. so that we weren't left out. And even for them as adults, Africans coming to the UK. They felt they had to learn 100%. the culture, bro. Mm. This business of, you know, put a cup on every second, every now, every minute. Is, oh, have we got a cup? Have we got... But that's the standards. That's the well, standards, bro. Do you, do you know what I clocked, yeah? A lot of our parents and stuff from that earlier days coming coming up, yeah? Coming, moving over here and stuff. Like, the reason why even a lot of them are not excelling very well in the career path and doing job, a lot of it is due to confidence. Mm. Because... They don't feel com they feel like they might get laughed at in, in terms yeah. of understanding the language and stuff. Don't mean like they're not skilled or they couldn't do that job better than any other person. Do you know what I mean? But it's you know what? The they just chose to stay in their corner and do all these other low, low paying jobs because Back. they're what requires like the, the littlest requirements. Bro, you won't have to talk to no one. You, you won't you have go. to tell anyone how your weekend was, you know what, what I mean? you ate for dinner. You'd be surprised how many of them were like you know, afraid because they couldn't speak good English enough or couldn't understand oh, where it is. Listen, they just stay out a lot of trying my to get big jobs. Aunties and uncles came from Uganda like in the eighties, nineties, with like good qualifications. Mm -hmm. They came here and they started working in hotels or scrubbing sauce Scrub pans. You know what I mean? Because they just thought they couldn't integrate into that pub on Friday. Do you know what I mean? The All lifestyle, that, that, that the lifestyle, whole thing. and it, and you know how it is. If you don't fit into that lifestyle, you get ostracized. One hundred percent. I mean, and I've been there. I work in I work in corporate, and I've been in there a long time. And you can tell the undertones. You talk about covert racism. I remember one time, I moved into a new team. Yeah, and someone they were asking me about me. I said, "Oh yeah, I've got two kids." Do you know what the guy said proudly? Is it with the same mom? Damn. In front of people. No Crazy. filter. Is it with the same mum? I was like, but I, you know, you know, you can't even believe uh, yeah. someone's asked you that question. Yeah, of course. And I was just like, it's why? so mad because we're used to being asked that because we are like, I, I don't remember like last time I spoke to any Caucasian, we don't got four kids, and I and I would even think about asking them that question: Is it with the same mum? Yeah, it's all the same mum. But why we would get you asked that? that so we much get that asked that like it's normal. It's normal. Is mm -hmm. it with the same mum? I'm like, why would you think they're not? Is that like, ah, oh, you know, you look like a guy that gets a lot of ladies. Try you see it. how you try, try to spin it? it. You try to spin it. And me being so kind of like... you laugh, though. You laugh. Yeah, I know you laugh. I know you laugh. I know you got me there, you know. But now you also don't want to become... You also don't want to become the... That guy. The one that just makes things uncomfortable. Yeah, the woke guy. Not because you challenge that. Because I should... becomes... I should have challenged it. If you did that, though... I should have Your workplace experience will probably be, oh, don't talk to him. He's too sensitive. He's too sensitive. That's what's going to happen. He looks into things too deeply. This is it. You know what I'm saying? So... It's so mad, isn't it? <laughs> so under normal circumstances, would you react that way? What do you what mean? mean? Because to be fair, a lot of a lot of us will overlook that because of the fact that this is our workplace. This is where we're making our money, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. If somebody came into a company that you owned and said that, it would be a different situation. Wait, but, um, a white person? Yeah, you wouldn't have that. Yeah, of course, it's my company. Yeah, so, yeah, so what I'm saying to you is like, the problem is basically we don't have enough ownership. 
That is a problem. Right. That could, but then the yeah. problem is also people so should why, not why, okay, make but why, sh- why, okay, what stops you from also speaking up? If because you're if you're in the right, why can't you speak up? No, no, you're right. You're right. No, you're right that's, though, that's, that's what I should have done. That's what I should have done. That's never gonna happen because a lot of people are thinking I'm not about to lose a hundred grand job because because from there on it might be downhill. Yeah. Why are we <laughs> so <laughs> scared? <laughs> no, it is. No, but he's got a point. That's the reason I why I can't go ahead. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. Like, so basically, we're also being we're like, part of the problem. Yeah, but by not speaking up, but you cannot blame me. That's what I'm saying. We are, but again, it goes back to some of the. Okay, look, cool. Let me show you. We're just crying all the time. No, I hear what you're saying, Muggsy. No, 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 but Muggsy, I hear what you're saying, but it's also not that simple. Like, let me, let me. I know what you're saying. Let me give you a point. Like, in terms of like, okay, like in a job, in most jobs, yeah, if a manager was caught having an affair with an employee, who gets fired? The manager. Exactly. Yeah. It also goes to that same reason, like, okay, just because I come to work for you or in your establishment doesn't also mean you should use that power and use it in a wrong way. There's got to be respect on both sides, isn't it? Does that make sense what I'm saying to you? And I don't think they're going to be like, oh, you know, why didn't you say something? Because mm. the, the, what the, what's the colleague, what's the employee going to say? Oh, well... I was afraid because of the power and the position. Yeah, yeah. But that's this the person wasn't quality. probably, he probably was just a normal colleague, like, you know? Who? No, uh, the person, the person yeah. that No, 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 he was a senior manager. It wasn't my senior manager. But, but it was senior a senior manager man- in another... Who has a pool yeah. and influence. But I'm, I'm, I'm saying, obviously, I don't, don't know, get I've wrong. been in a situation before when I was okay. when I was working in Sainsbury's, yeah? Mm-hmm. This is, I'm talking, this is store manager. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right? <laughs> right? Stuck in my shelf, as I do, uh-huh. we had a power cut. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it was a power cut. Oh, there was another Sainsbury's that something went down like a power cut, yeah? yeah. So they needed other um, staff, staff to go there and basically go and offload the fridge or do something. Oh, quickly before back, the fridge yeah? dies. Mm. So I was just told, like, obviously, I'm one of the people that I had to go. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna go anyways, like waste time. By the time I get there, <laughs> come back, like whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be time to go home shift, yeah. So as I'm I've gone upstairs now, picked up my jacket, I'm walking, yeah. This this store manager, Richard, yeah, that cunt. Oh, yeah, Richard, cunt. I still remember his name, yeah. Oh, cunt. Richard, yeah. This is the guy that won't fight it, Isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. But Richard, so we, goes, don't, we don't like you, Richard. He's, he's, he's by the he's by the the exit. He's like, go on. To me, yeah, mm-hmm. what I kind of like as in like hurry, hurry up. up. The same one that said I was lethargic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. He went, ah! he went, he went, he went. Go on. Uh-huh. As soon as I done that, he said, "You know what? I'm not going again." That's funny. <laughs> yeah. He looked at me. I said, "I'm not going again." Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, there's a face when you're yeah. like, bro, you're about to get slapped. Yeah. I said, "I'm not <laughs> going again." I went back upstairs, took my jacket off, and carried on working. After that Ooh. day, he did not bust jokes with me again. <laughs> and he could not do nothing. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? So for me, it's that bro. Like, wait, wait, you don't know that. No, did but you ever what apply for a higher position no, or forget anything? Forget that. Forget yeah. that he okay. ended up moving anyways. But okay. what I'm saying, that challenge, he might not be used to that. Okay, so sometimes... Do you understand? It's no, a fair point. Like, come on, bro. I've even had situations where, like, someone was working, like, bare hours. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, like and then they collapsed. Mm. That's mad. Got revived and carried on working, bro. Oh, that's what? crazy. Like, I'm thinking, you know, like little things but, like but that. Did they choose to carry on working or they were They told carried on working. But did that person choose to carry on working? I think they wanted to carry on working. And then, but like, they should have said they should have no, But what yeah. I'm saying to you is that these kind of things just show you like, bro, like, no, why you know are we what? so scared? To his point, yeah. Bro, I had to I have challenge that guy, bro. I have been thinking about this ownership because even when, and I know we've got to wrap up in a minute, but mm. he, he, remember when my, so this company I was working for. <laughs> 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 yeah. You almost let the cat yeah. out the bag. <laughs> this company I'm working for, uh, I was working for. Yeah. This company I used to work at. <laughs> oh, you're just yeah, beating yourself it. up. This I company that. I used to work at, yeah. When yeah. my granddad died, yeah. I remember, obviously, this is my granddad, bro. Like, you know how we are close with our grandparents, yeah? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll call I mean, up some of us. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. In general, like, <laughs> I feel like Africans... are allowed to be close. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like, in general, Africans are normally close to their family Grandpa, members. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. He's passed away now. I've called in work, and they're like... And I'm like, yo, my granddad's passed away. I'm crying, like, do you know what I mean? And they're like, okay, do you want to first calm down, call me back when you stop crying? 
That's a big yeah. You called them crying on the phone. Yeah, I was up, I was emo- I was supposed to go into work. <laughs> oh, I was. wasn't like bawling like, but you can you could hear like I'm no, crying like. Yeah. You, you should have. You could have finished crying, crying before you called them. The Brother, I tried, but I've got to get to work. Yeah, but go on. So yeah, I go called them. He's like, call me back. I said, I said, no, no, no. I'm gonna stop. So I stopped. Yeah. I was like, look, my granddad just passed away. I need to go to my aunt's house. I'm not gonna make it into work today. She's like, okay, okay. Sorry to hear about your loss. If possible, can you call me tomorrow to let me know when you'll be back in? So mm. I was like, mm, okay, whatever. I just said, cool. Locked off the phone. Mm. I wasn't planning on calling. Do you mm. know what I mean? Because I'm trying to be off for two weeks. This is my granddad, right? Mm. The next day, I think I was supposed to be in at nine o'clock. At 9.30, I get a phone call like, are you coming into work today? I'm like, no, because my granddad just died. And I've just They're died. like, we understand that. And we again, we are very sorry for your loss. But if you're going to take any more days out, you're going to need to do what? Take holiday. Nah. Yeah? No bereavement. No, no, there's no bereavement because they don't see, they see, they only give bereavement for nuclear, for, for your yeah, mum, like dad, mom, yeah, siblings, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Which, I mean, like, I get it. it so it, it's not, unless you're someone like that, it's like literally your f- your parents have passed mm. and you've been raised by, Mm. Yeah, but even if your parents are not, not passed, but there's people like, especially like myself, for example, yeah, that's what I'm was saying. raised by like your grandma. That's what yeah. I'm trying to say to you. So it's, I mean? it's kind of like, it's just but they're just assuming you know I mean? that it's like, okay, normally yeah, like yeah, your immediate, yeah, no. ah, they're bro. probably like, I try run that, that would be for like your mom. I try run that. Remember my mom died when I was younger. I yeah. tried to run that. They were like, no, nah, the policy states that basically what I'm trying to say, there was no empathy. There was no compassion, but that is their thing. Yeah. Was I wrong for not integrating? That for them, this is how they see it. Or was I done hard, r- r- done wrong by by not being given compassionate leave? I think if it's in their policy, it's a bit, it's a bit harder. No, it's in their policy, but your managers allow discretion. Yeah, they discretion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, depending on if they I like. I know what you yeah. mean, but it's like... Cause I feel like there's also probably... I, I always feel like this, right? And, I'm not, and I know I th- you're, you've managed as well, mm. isn't it? Like, I feel like there's always sometimes when an employee calls off... The first, do you always believe them straight away? Or there's always going to be that part <laughs> of your mind that, like, you know, lies are <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You don't think I'm like, I was the one. <laughs> first one. Now but, I'm just asking. Now, do you know what's to funny? To, to your point, yeah. I did see a, a, a tweet, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was a video, yeah. And this guy, bro, I was cracking up. It was a five second video, but I was laughing. Mm. The guy was at his desk. You know these skits? Yeah, yeah. And he was like, that excitement you get when you start a new job because all your four grandparents are alive again. <laughs> 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 and it had millions of views, bare that comments. I was like, bro, is this what you man are doing bro, out here? Are you all right? You man are out here Some killing people, your... Do you know how many times their grandparents have died? No, nah, that's I wild. I think when I lost my mom, they gave me like a week or something. A week? A week. I don't know if it was two weeks, bro. bro but when you lie. traveled, did you have to take that as holiday? Yeah, that was my holiday. See? That's a mad. That's mad. I think that's mad. Even me, they made you take out of holiday. But that, again, you, you know, know what it is, yeah. their policy. You say, you, no, you but it's managers You know what it is, you know is yeah, bro. Imagine they like you enough. Like, you see what it is, simple. bro. You know what, like, you say what you're saying now, yeah? But it's like, I know it's, it's, it's a tough situation, yeah? But until I'm running a business where, like, I'm paying people, mm. I, I wouldn't know what it feels like. You understand, yeah? Because... Two weeks of paying someone, like, That's obviously, I get you've yeah, lost yeah. someone. Like, imagine then, you're doing that for every. But then also, do, just do try not to look at it as just I, money. I because agree if with you, you don't, al- if you don't allow me to go, do mm. you think I'm going to be productive? Productive, yeah. You're going to lose out. You may not pay me. You may, you may still be paying mm. me for working, but you're going to. You're not, I'm not going to be as. Well, just think about that though. Do you even even a, a, a staff member? Let's because again, when it comes when it goes to managing people, you got to know how to really the word manage people mm. to get the best out, out of, of them. them. So my main thing is, you think somebody that just told me now they've lost somebody, and I'm being that shitty with them. Do you think I'm going to get the best output out of them? No way. That's why I left so, the company. Yeah. See, so there you go. Look at that. So mm. I think. Again, it's about understanding how to get the most. So you might have to take that little two weeks L, but for hopefully another year of hard work. Facts. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So obviously, I think obviously there's like a balance in there that. There's a balance. And I hear what you're saying. You're making a point. No, no, about I, I think, think that's you need what it is. Yeah, but the reality of it, yeah, I just think even like when it comes to managing people, yeah, right? The, the managing people also comes with like, 
is you're human, isn't it? You're going to have favorites. And mm. favorites come with the amount of work that's been put in. Mm. You understand? Like, even, like, me, sometimes my girl, I'm like, oh, like, what? Are you not going to get in trouble? Oh, like, like mm. some of the things I might do at work, I'm like, nah, because I do my job. Mm. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying to you? I might, I don't complain. If it's days where, okay, everyone's got jobs to complete, like, even if I have to stay late to do what I have to do, then, I, do you know what I'm saying? But I feel like, I have that vim because I know I do my work. Mm -hmm. And there are some people that literally take the piss. Even people that work with them, like, brother, you take the piss. Mm -hmm. So I think based off of that, that's how when managers, when you need things from them, that's how they move. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Example, 100%. when I wanted to go on holiday in um, December, like, normally they don't allow you to carry over holiday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They allowed me to. Mm -hmm. They don't do it. But they allowed me to do it. So Why is that? I'm in the wrong. No, no, you're not in the wrong. No, 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 no and I, I don't think I'm not saying maybe your scenario is just one of I'm just get saying, it. Like especially saying. you was working, especially build if you're the credit. working it's for an organization. Yeah, you have to build credit. Yeah, bro. but especially if you're working in an organization that doesn't necessarily, you know, those organizations that, that recruit thousands of employees. Yeah. Where you know, even if I'm not here at all, it doesn't move the, nothing. The business, yeah. Like, come on, man. Let, let that's me that's use the way I see it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And there have been times that, bro, like, I'll never forget it. And again, no, definitely wrapping up. But when my brother died, I got the call on Sunday. The next day, I was in the office. So you didn't we had a off. we had a big project, and they were begging me to come Damn. in. Do you know what I'm saying? And like an idiot, I went. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like even if you have the credit, it still doesn't change anything, bro. Like if 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 someone's got a view of you or a view yeah. of you of how you are because of the color of your skin. That's it. Matter done. What you do. It's done. Yeah, you know I mean. So, so the uh, point we're saying here is we need ownership. If not, then yeah. This but I don't. Is I don't know. Like ownership. We also need the other side. That you got ownership. Sorry to cut you off, so Carl. Ownership. I think that's a different conversation that I genuinely think applies to um, a different issues we're facing. Mm -hmm. I say as minority, but in terms of integration, though, like if we want to stick on that topic, I genuinely feel like apart from London, bro. Like, apart from the inner city, London, I feel like other, other areas are yeah, outside. You ain't going to take me Tunbridge Wells. Do you, uh, what do you mean? Tum if I have to. Tunbridge Wells. No, but what I'm just saying is that the <laughs> other outskirts. <laughs> no, because, because let's be honest with ourselves, yeah. A lot of, of all the outskirts, you might talk about Tunbridge Wells. You might talk about all these, you know, very like. Hey, yeah, come with this, this predominantly just on your back. Berkshire. Body. Yeah. Like Burnley, they're Burnley. Com they're, 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 they're complaining in those, in those. Let me show you something. In those areas, they're complaining the most. Go and check it. It's poverty, right? Yeah. They're hit the most by this cost of it. Do you know why? There is no diversity and inclusion. Mm. Or, or um, you know, what I'm talking about mm. because the more people you have, the, the more opportunity is going to come to your city and your town. Facts. Because I tell you something. To his point, mm. most of the shops that sell Ugandan, not even just Ugandan food, African food. Yeah. I don't even know about Africans. They're owned by Indians. Indians. Do you yep. know what I mean? So. If you put us there, <laughs> yeah, if you put us in Burnley, put us in Tunbridge Wells, uh, African shops going to open up. I'm Different so opportunities. Some of yam with uh, uh -huh. yeah. Business will start booming. Business will start booming. Even though Yibo can be selling yam. By the way, the and yam. we will buy it. But the thing about these Yibo people, they don't care about don't, money on that level. They're, they're, they're like, like the ones that would rather tell you be broke. Yeah, be broke. <laughs> than have you move that area. Yeah, and then, Are you mad? Yeah, no, it's not happening. You're not living next door to me. Look at them. Like, it's so mad. But they're all the ones that voted for Brexit. Yep. They're all the ones that are now going to vote for Reform UK. Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> <Reform. now> <laughs> That's a new party They want now. to re yeah, they reform, wanna, they reform, reform UK. UK. They don't because like now they said they don't, they definitely have lost all faith in Labour. Mm -hmm. right. And they are sick and tired. Finally, they're sick and tired of um, <laughs> conservative. Finally. Yeah. Now they're so going to go to Reform UK, UK because apparently uh, they don't like the fact that Muslims are Muslim. apparently taking over yeah. uh, 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 the UK. Come on. You so it's no, no, no. They're not saying it's the Muslims. Muslims. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Muslims. It's MPs are saying that. We wanna, I want one of the MPs that wants his country back. He wants that is a prime back. example of you blame everybody, but you don't look at yourself. yourself. Yeah. Because look yourself you know, in the mirror. It's so Talk funny. When these MPs go up there and they say, 
we want our country, our country back. back. I say, you the cheek, you bastard. Mad. When you were pay- taking people's countries and they were begging for freedom, what were you not saying? Oh, no, it's better we are here because you people are uncivilized. Yeah, you're uncivilized. But now you want your country imagine back. Imagine someone comes to your country oh. and tells you that you're uncivilized. Nah, these imagine, man fish, you know. imagine I come to your house, Mosley, <laughs> and tell you that, bro, you're let uncivilized. me show you something. I'm I want to now basically in. be in charge of how you people wash. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. because, no, no, they'll say because you use bucket bath. Mm-hmm. I'm going to civilize you and give you a shower. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm still bathing nicely with my bucket bath. I'm not smelling. I'm not smelling for you. Bro, you people have a cheek, but we have to get in another topic. That's another now, topic. We now come to the end of the well, episode. Yeah, what's your overall conclusion? Do you think UK integration, you think they're nah, doing they're, really they're well? failing. And I think UK is pretty Oof. much like a pretty lady. You yeah. know these pretty ladies that wear makeup when they're outside? They call themselves baddies. And they, they, they look like bad. And deep down when they take off their makeup, they're just not just ugly looking, even inside. Inside. That's the UK, Rotten. bro. You lot think, because you have bare black people, 3% of your population, by the way, but you Three. think it's bare, that you think, oh, we're, we're the kings of uh, diversity. There's nah, too nah, much nah, of nah, them. Nah, nah. Bare it. And because I work with these people that they're not in the poor areas mm. they are definitely in the affluent areas yeah you know they people, live as they yeah, come into they're the living city. good they come into the city yeah yeah and yeah. they still don't like black people of course not that's how I know. why do you think they live where they live and come into the city to get away from to us to get away from you i know you said you had no experience what do you what yeah. do you think you think you said think you he's awesome. saying ownership he's saying ownership yeah, we, we have we need ownership ownership of what your own country no the of Business things area. so that we can employ sukali yeah, so when they be when they step out of the line, you can yeah, put them you in can place. Put them back in order. But then that's that true. goes against integration. That basically is you're, you're segregated. Let's come here and do our, do own, our thing own thing without him. And I'm saying, bro, how do we integrate? No, we include everybody, from? but it just means now also let there be respect because we we I believe we, we can owners. give that respect. No, 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 no. But it, I, I take it that better point. The, it better the other way than the way I it take is that because. Point. We're not, like, you know what I'm saying? Let's just. Yeah, it's not like we're, we're segregated, but it's Let's more like we open more business. So, you know, our people feel like they have more opportunity. So you don't feel like in that situation, if I lose this job, where do I go from here? Like, you know, I can go down to Uzi down the road. It might, yeah, me and him might fist fight every now and then, but at least he's going to respect me. Okay, then, controversial, real quick close here. Then. <laughs> this guy. To your he, point. When do he you, went quiet, I knew he was nah, speaking to say it. Do you look think your face. then? Are the mobos necessary if we're trying to integrate? Are the what? The mobos. Music of Black the Origin awards. awards. Oh. Are they necessary if we're trying to integrate? But remember, yeah, that came about in the first place because integration was failing. I hear that, but it's now here in 2024. It's still here. What do you think? Because there's still no integration. There's okay. Remember, yeah. So does that help integration, though? That's the question. Should we not? I'm not, I'm not against the no, mobos, no, 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 by yeah, the way. Yeah. But if we are really about integration, should we not fight more to get ourselves represented at the Brits and all these other awards rather than creating our own awards? Because to them lot, they use that now. When I say them lot, I mean the right-wing press, Mm -hmm. the right-wing media and the Mm right-wing people. They use that to say, ah, how come they have their own award show? If we had a white-only award show, would that be a problem? Look at that play that we were talking about. The play that is, uh, I think it's around slavery that's opened up and they're going to have black-only nights, Mm -hmm. two nights in the Mm -hmm. week. Bear uproar because they're saying, How are you guys in 2024 having a play and saying only black people can attend? Right? Whereas the guys are saying, No, the, 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 the brief of the play, what the play is about, at some point, it's nice to have people in the audience that can relate to your struggle. So it's not uncomfortable. Because I've been in plays that are uncomfortable. There's a play called Four Black Boys Only yeah, that have f- four committing suicide. And it was uncomfortable sitting there watching it, hearing what they were saying about white people when there was white people in the audience. I felt a bit uncomfortable. So I understand the need for it, but uh, some people will say it goes against integration. So yeah. where do you guys So think? I think quickly on that one, the second one, the play situation, yeah. I can't speak too much about it because okay. I don't know about it. But in terms of the, talking about the mobiles and all of that kind of stuff, again, and I think it goes back to some of the things you just mentioned actually yourself, mm-hmm. is being able to relate and understand the struggle. I think far too for far too long i think caucasian people especially you're talking about when it comes to maybe music i think they've they've shown apart from their their uh, obviously you're talking about the gen z's and stuff like that yep. who are taking a lot of liking into like rap music and stuff because when you go to a lot of the concerts and festivals it's predominantly um you know bl- let's be honest black boys don't really buy tickets like that mm. so when you talk about the wireless and stuff like that, it's predominantly um white kids um boys and girls that you see there now, but when we talk about the older generation of cooking, the, the issue is, I think, far too long when you talk about the people behind the scenes, 
making the decision on who the award goes to and stuff like that, yeah? Far too long, they've shown that they don't listen. They are not willing to want to listen or even understand our music. Like, when mm. you do, you know, of wherever you might want to talk about, you know, um, rap or wherever it might be, right? And far too long. How many times you lot hear it when awards have been given out and so many of our people that we know are doing some great work and putting out some timeless project and um, pieces, yeah? They're getting overlooked. And every mm. time, people that you've never even heard them are winning. Are winning. Are winning. So again, I think it got to a point where the the power that be in the black side of the game were like, you know what? Enough is enough. We're gonna create our own thing. And I promise you, anyways, if you probably look, I don't know. This is not a fact. The who owned actual mobiles and is it owned by a black person? Yeah, the lady Dame. Oh, I forgot her name. Black oh yeah, so it's owned yeah, by she, a black yeah, she's black. Yeah. Oh, that's nice then. That's good because I remember BT wasn't um, nah, nah, black nah, nah, entertainment. Nah, nah. That wasn't owned by a black person. Nah, they did it. But so, mobile, uh, as far as I know, the creator, the founder, definitely a black. But does she still own it? Because more times that amount. Ownership, so, but, but again, so this this is goes back to the point. Unfortunately, with black people, that's another thing. So when you talk about ownership, the issue also is we we create something. We get it to a level mm, and they it. come in with a certain amount of money that we can't say no to and we sell it. And guess what? We now don't own it. That's nah, we black got, ownership, we've got to do a fine. topic on that. Yeah, we but need to. But where yeah. do you stand? Do so you think my, we need the that's mobiles? That's my viewpoint, but I think so. Yeah. The do mobiles. You, do you think we need the mobiles? Like a, a black this or a black that? It doesn't make any difference. <laughs> so that there's yeah, there, there's still certain awards that people are just going to always recognize more. I hear of that. Of course, yeah. You know but do you think we need so to if the point could, of if we could win the Brits? Yeah. I think we'll rec we'll rate that more than mobiles. Yeah. So do so we need the whatever mobiles? we have is never gonna. I know it's been done out of the fact that um, we're not getting enough recognition. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. the reality of it is we want that recognition. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Do you understand? So mm -hmm. as much as it's good, but I don't feel like it's ever gonna be as good as winning the Brits. I hear it. I hear it. So I feel I feel like we do feel? need the mobiles. Yeah. At the yeah. end of the day, we didn't start on a level playing field. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We started not getting representation. Mm -hmm. We created our own representation. And now you don't want us to stop it because it's a bit uncomfortable for you. Even this slave play, that's what it's called. It's actually called slave play. Right? Oh, slave play. The prime minister came out and said, black only theater performances are concerning and wrong. <laughs> I don't know why he's decided to get Who's involved. this Rishi? Rishi, of course, the puppet. Um, I feel <laughs> like your prime minister, you're calling yeah, a puppet. I'm calling my puppet. Tell him to come do me something, bro. At the end Don't of the day, Don't collect your bro. documents, man. You are talking <laughs> and you are just wiping nah, your man. mouth, running it. It's necessary. Even yeah. the slave play black only audiences, it's necessary. Because yeah, so what do you think? What do you, what's your take on that? My take on it is, bro, I don't know if you man have been theater before. But no, I, I haven't. Have. And funny yeah. enough, I actually met, oh man, I've, I've, I might have deleted. I met um an actress who okay. does play in the in yeah bro in, in West, West End and she used to invite though. me to one of when the you play. go West End bro it's just it's predominantly white people mm -hmm. black people don't normally get good to plays to it, go right? to plays like that sometimes because of the price sometimes tickets to sell out right mm. so to have two nights two nights all the other days anybody can come just mm. two nights predominantly black audience they will not turn you away if you're not black. It's but just, just that, trying to hype the, up the mm. black people. Yo, let's go out. Let's start going to theaters and stuff like that. Mm. And like I said before, even the, 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 the topic of the slave play, obviously he's talking about slavery and stuff. Sometimes it's more comfortable to take it in when you're around people that can relate to the struggle. Mm. Whereas when you're around other people, you feel like, ooh, you cringe. You're like, how are they going to feel? So for, for me, I think mobiles and black only, I think they're good. No, I think those things there are important, but I don't know if I'd say... The reason why, again, the reason why I'm not going to say... Just so quickly on this, I know we, we can be here all day, but talking about like black only this and that, it, the, the, here's the, the only reason though, because also I think part of our issue with, you know, white people and racism and covert racism, all of these things is almost like they lack the understanding mm. of maybe even sometimes it might not be intentional. They might be saying certain things to you because maybe they've heard it on TV and now there's a black person in front of them and they're trying to see, okay, how can I dumb down my whiteness a little bit just to make them feel relatable and they say something and put their foot in their mouth. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So that could be the case sometimes. Well, like they, this will educate them. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, they can go on the other nights. Huh? They can go on the other nights. What, to see the same play? 
Yeah, the same play. Oh, but it's just that on the two nights, nights in a yeah. week that they said this can be that, but yeah, they're not you can for go that. Oh, night. okay, okay, okay. Right. I thought it's just a play that only nah, they're saying they only black people. Nights, bro. Okay, right, right. I see what you so, mean. Oh, right, 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 that's right. my okay. take. But anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. we have overrun. Give us your take in the comments. Let us know what you think. We appreciate you guys. I love, I love this. This episode is cool. No, it was a good topic, man, and I feel like a lot of people resonate with it. Yep. Let us know your thoughts. If you've got any topic ideas, anything you want us to discuss. Yeah, about, please. Anything you want to take us, on. us, comment us, DM us, whatever, whatever. Um, when are we uh, next going live? It would be... It'd be in April. The 22nd of April. You got it. We will be going live. Gotcha. So you'll see uh, us talking about it. You get get the number down if you want to call in, get involved, guys. We appreciate you this year. We have got great things coming. And tell them, remember, I love the promo you did last week. The subscription, the following, the sharing, we is needed. It is yeah, great. is oh, needed. Man, we need it. It costs you nothing. Nothing at all. If you're watching us, you're kind of stealing from us, in a way. In a way. If you're not engaging, mm. if you're not liking, you're not. Yeah, I realize there's a lot of window you're shoppers. So, yeah, you're almost win. Come and buy. Come and buy. No, something. Everyone just come in. And by leave your way. and sign up your, <laughs> your um, email. Th- yeah, that's and it. And something. It's not by mistake that you dropped onto this episode, especially if you're watching till this point. Mm. <laughs> it's not by mistake. So make sure you stay here. Subscribe, share, like, tell your people them. But until next Appreciate time, you. Peace. peace, peace, Thanks for listening to the In My Opinion podcast. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, peace. <laughs>